Welcome to the AQA 2012 Comp 1 exam pests, where we're going to be looking at the monster game code and looking at some of the programming extensions that you might be asked in the exam and looking for some solutions. So these are programming exam solution tutorials. And the very first one we're going to look at is one which we look to validate the menu choice. I am assuming you are familiar with the code. If you are not, get the skeleton code, pour through it in detail. These will mean nothing to you unless you know this code pretty well. Uh, we're going to be doing a range check. When well, I say it's a range check, it's sort of a range check, possibly a lookup check. Um, and basically the menu is uh, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 or 9. And as with all validation, we're going to use a do loop and we're going to have um, a, a boolean exit where basically we're only allowed out of the loop if the user enters 1, 2, 3, 4 or 9. Um, and that's that's what we're going to do now. That's the main purpose of it. We look at the solution and we um, we do that. I'm not going to bother doing a type check at the moment. We'll do that next. So let's pull up the code. And what we're going to do is just go up here a little bit. So there's the menu and there's the get menu, menu choice. It's obviously all called from the main uh, procedure. And the first thing I'm going to do is add in a boolean variable called valid choice. Uh, the next thing will be to create my do loop, which only exits if valid choice has the value true. So of course I'm going to initialize my valid choice boolean as being false. And then we actually get to the main range check bit. So at the moment the user will input something in and it will get uh, returned to the function here. It obviously it's converted to integer, um, but there is no check and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to add a if statement with a sensible criteria. Um, so what I'm basically saying is if the choice is greater or equal to the one and is less than equal to four, so i.e. between one and four, that's what that little statement there does, or if choice equals nine, then do this bit, which of course will be valid choice equals true, and if it's n if it's not that, then I want valid choice to equal false. So in other words, if it's if it doesn't meet this criteria, then this bit of block of code will run, and of course they will go around the loop. I really ought to add a sort of nice friendly user message. So let's do that. That seems to be a sensible one. Where I'm asking to uh, enter a value between those values, and then I'm replicating the input dialog that was at the bottom of the main menu. And this will now run pretty nicely. I've got my loop, I've got my uh, criteria, my validation criteria, uh, my selection statement which will either run true or false. The nice thing about putting both of these is that I know that on every single loop through valid choice will either be assigned true or false. There's no way that it could be some of the make. So we, we better do a test of this. And obviously what we're going to do is test some nice boundary data um, and uh, some data that should fail the validation and some data that uh, should allow, allow the validation to go through. So let's do that now. Okay, we're going to validate first of all with the number zero and that should obviously uh, fail the validation, which it does. Let's try 5, lovely, 6, 7, 8, all of those fail, brilliant. Let's just make sure something bigger than that, 10, we could go on, but to be honest with you, we've now really tested uh, uh, greater than 9, between 4 and 9, uh, and 0. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to test is 1. And that does produce number one, which is nice. So let's go back to the main menu. Uh, let's try, uh, finally, let's try looking at uh, number four, uh, which does open up a training game, which is nice. And we'll go back. And then finally, we'll do nine, which hopefully should quit. So all of our validations worked. Obviously, I didn't type in any extreme data, which would cause the program to crash, because we haven't validated for that yet. Um, but that's what we're going to do on the next pest. So hopefully you've now seen how by adding a do loop, an if statement 
uh, and uh, an exit criteria on a boolean, you can you can validate menu menu choice. And that's the end of the very first section of the very first PEST for the 2012 exam.